again everyone Brett back out the tooth scale modeling with another new sprue review this time from gas patch models me 163b comet in 48 scale which we have not seen a good one of these in a long time I think when I was a kid I built a testers one of these for sure it's testers I may still have an unbuilt testers one somewhere I don't know nice box art beautiful box different schemes you get whichever one you want including captured RAF and there's an air ministry one so I'm not sure who captured that one anyway this side a little bit about some of the people who flew it uh, some safety things in various languages and on this side a historical brief about the ME-163 Comet so pause it read it if you can we are in high def 1080 so hopefully and I love their boxings they're beautiful they're sturdy you've got Four sprues, one clear sprue, 3D printed part, instructions, advertising, decals, photo edge, and a beautiful box. Alright, so the advertising, we've got some Samsons, Otsua Samsons, if you're interested in World War One, 48 scale. I have all these angels because those are cool. <clears throat> Let's start with this so I don't lose it. This is a 3D printed something, which until I see the instructions, I don't know what that something is. But very nice looking. Very tiny. 3D printed part. We're seeing more and more kits that come with little bits of 3D printed parts. But I'm putting that back in the box so I don't lose it. Let's start. Yeah, you know, it's a small aircraft. So let's start with the spread that has the fuselage. Excuse the dog barking be something animal wise in the neighborhood. Alright. This is the most detailed ME 163 Comet in 48 scale I've ever seen. Even on the inside. I don't see any. Oh, yeah, there's some rivets. I don't know how many rivets this thing actually had. But there's your fuselage. And as you can see, you got rivet detail down there, down there. You got some very tiny parts right there for what I don't know. You've got separate rudders, looks like separate flaps, maybe even separate leading edge slats. Got your nose cone on the inside. I'm not sure what these are either. On the inside, like I said, you've got detail where the cockpit's going to go on both sides. You've got ejector pin marks in here, but you don't have any, maybe, no, it's going to be below the fuselage line. So that was well thought out. One piece rudder, looks like one piece flaps. See both sides. So, start now, promising, the gas patch has done some good stuff. Wings are next. Some rivets along the edges, along the tips. Air brakes, speed brakes. Exit hatches 
Unless there's one screw, there's no real detail in the access hatches, but there's rivets along where the flaps go. Those are as leading edge slats. They did, someone did sand out some of the ejector pin marks, and they're all recessed. These are panels for something. There's no other detail under there. But the wings, you see the rivet edge running along there, and then along there. Where your speed brakes go, your access hatches. Again, along the front edge, the back edge, for the detail. Nicely done wings. And you know, there's not a lot of going to be a lot of parts in this kit. So there's a lot more than you think. So, there's your landing skid, your takeoff wheels. I can't tell if this is a console for the cockpit or not, but you've got a lot of little parts on here. Hubs for the wheels. Looks like a Two sets of wheels, unless there's four on there. There's the back part of the skid. This looks like the landing gear door. It's got raised rivets on it. It does have ejector pin marks on the inside, but you'll probably have that closed. Nice detail on the ski. All these very tiny little parts. And be careful cutting them off. The wheels. Have some lines in them, but no real tread. Back part of the ski. I need your door. And some other parts, I'm not sure what they are. Probably for the wheels and landing gear. The takeoff gear, sorry. Didn't have landing gear. And we got one more, which should have the, all the cockpit parts in it. And it does, a nice cockpit tub, instrument panel, looks like various control parts that are very tiny, those actually look like shell casings, your gun. Your throttle, your control stick, all very small but very detailed parts. Start up here with the trim tab wheel, instrument panel, all these very small parts that are going to go into, like I said, these look like rounds, shells, bullets, cockpit tub. There's your guns. There's my dog barking at somebody outside. Control stick. There's a hose for something. Be careful cutting these parts off. It's a flip side. And clear parts. Clear parts look very clear. For some reason this bulkhead is clear. And the side windows, so... I can see how clear it is. I don't know why the bulkhead is clear. But maybe... It'll be made clear. Mm -hmm. Check out the rivets. And it's raised, so masking will be a breeze. Okay. Now, we got us. We've got 
got a master set. Right on. So ceiling bag for this one. Stick it down, fold it over, let the decals, let the mask set, photo edge. I'm sure that was covering the mask set. So, yes, it is cut. I can see it, but it is cut for you. You'll just have to use, it's the edges of the canopy, so you're going to have to um, use mask oil or just other tape. For the side windows, yeah, very nice touch. And you got a little bit of photo etch, so it looks like flaps. There's actually some resin or something in there, seatbelt harnesses. I can take it out because I'll lose those little parts that are in there. And your decals which are not printed by cartograph, doesn't look like, but they still look really nice. Lots of stencils, separate instrument panel, decals. That's nice. Get your British and your German and no swastikas because this is made in, uh, made in Actually, it does say cartograph on there. It's just so tiny you can't see it. I think they're made. Oh, there's your swastikas right there. Just gotta put them together along with some other little decals. That's what this is for. Excellent. Very nice decals. that in. Okay, and lastly, we got us a little instruction book right here. Nice box art. There, here's your color call out. And I like it because it's no particular brand. It just gives you RLM numbers and colors. So you can choose your own brand of paint. Some tips and tricks. Sprue map, decals, vinyl mask, and PE, which apparently you don't use that one PE part. And it's not showing off. 3D resin part. This was what was in the bag with the PE. And this is a 3D resin jig for something which will show us. So you're putting your PE on your clear bulkhead. And you're painting it. Use provided masks for painting. So the masks go over. That's why this whole thing is clear because there's windows in it. There you're putting your harnesses on your seat, your seat together. I love the way this is all colored and everything. Gas Patch does a good job with their instructions. And you're going to be working on your rudders, which rudder pedals, which have PE. Control stick. This is what it looks like when you're done. Leather, wood, RLM 66. Great instructions. Trim tab, left side of the interior of the fuselage, there's some more PE. This part that I wasn't sure what it was on that one sprue, looks like it attaches to the inside of the landing gear, the skid ski bay. It's your right inside of the fuselage. Again, RLM 66. This is what it looks like when it's complete. That is such a nice touch. It's got decals. How are you doing your instrument panel? You paint our RLM 66, put some PE on it, stick your decals in it. And they're individuals, so you don't really need photo etch or anything of the sort. Ammo compartment, those were bullets. Obviously you're going to paint them brass. This is the completed one, this is the steps to complete it. There's your ski. And the control for your ski, if you're using the landing skid extended if you're not it's retracted so you decide if you're gonna have it extended or retracted there you're putting all your parts in the interior your jet nozzle there's your cockpit tub going inside 
And there's some more. I wonder if that's the like the ME it's PE part. So I doubt it. Let's say it's the, like the ME 109 fuel line. There's your skid in extended position. More PE. Remove. It's even telling you what seam lines to remove. There, there, there. That is a nice touch. Our D24 goes on there. Machine gun assembly. So your jigs are labeled left and right. And apparently you're using those. Use resin jig for better machine gun alignment. There you go. And glue machine guns into place and align using your jigs. Very nice touch. And there's some more PE there for. Looks like it's going along the machine gun bay. Use your mask provided again for the side windows. Very detailed instructions. Remove more seam lines. Landing flaps extended. Landing flaps retracted. Here's your tail wheel and its assembly. And your painting when it's done. And weighted tires are round, so it comes with both. You just have to decide. Tail wheel extended, tail wheel extended. So fairings, ups, fairings removed or fairings in place. So these fairings can be either on or off. There are your weighted tires for your landing gear, sorry, your takeoff gear, which would snap right into the ski. Obviously you wouldn't put those on if the ski's closed. You can have the doors, that's what those one panels were for, for your machine gun bay doors you can have open. Right there. And there's a piece of uh, P for the nozzle. And it's zoomed out. And cockpit canopy and armor glass assembly. So you got armored glass. Painting around there, which I would do long before I put anything in there. Some more P. Masking the canopy. Sorry about the dog. Someone's supposed to be taking care of that. Canopy closed. Canopy open, green color light, IFF rod, definitely after painting, definitely after painting. Scheme 1, April 1945. Scheme 2, sometime in 1945. Scheme 3, February 1945. Brandis. Where brand this is. Scheme four, spring 1945. Excuse me a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Air Ministry 203. Even says Air Ministry decal right there. Your roundels. We have a good diorama for that. And then, captured UK post-war. The nice yellow underbelly. Wow. This is an impressive little kit. Gas batch models. I had to import this. I've not seen it released in America yet. But you can bet if when they do, I'm going to get more. And I'm going to sell them in the store. But I'm going to get more because I want to build several of those schemes. I want to build that one for sure. Thanks for watching this sprue view. Tell me what you think. Are you excited as I am about a new 48 scale ME163? If you have the testers one, like I said, I may have it, but I don't know where it would be. But if I find it, I'll do a comparison, which won't even be a comparison because we all know the testers one wasn't very good. Thanks for watching.